Hi there, I'm Lacey and I'm so happy to see you. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make cute little bunny ear hair clips. And the fun part of this tutorial is I'm going to just figure it out as we go. So you'll get to see all of my mistakes and the chaos that I bring. So let's get started. Step one, you're going to take a Sharpie or a marker and you are going to draw a bunny ear type shape. There are various different bunny type ear shapes. You could do this. When we fold it, we're gonna fold it right here. So these parts are gonna to come together. So this would give you more of a cat ear shape. Good point. So you want something more like this. So this way, we'll fold it here. These will come together, and then you'll have a, it'll come in like this. And give you a bunny ear shape, or a lamb ear. I mean, I don't discriminate. So you're gonna take your bunny ear shape and you're going to cut it out. Okay. So now you do like a fold test. And that's what your bunny ear is going to look like. Place it on your fabric. Make sure you, you know, stay away from that. Um, give yourself some seam allowance. You can probably cut for it once. If you are not comfortable with your scissors or do not like a challenge, you should probably not do it this way. You're gonna string your. That just hit me in the eye. Like, the needle hit me right there. Now, when you start out, I'm gonna try to get really close to the camera. We're gonna sew on this line, like right there, okay? Like a half, a half inch, quarter inch in, okay? It doesn't have to be super precise. Just stab it through, and then. Pull it, but don't don't pull it all the way taut. Leave a little, leave your knot a little room after your knot. See my knot's right here. I know you probably can't see it. Okay, and then the next time you come back through, so instead of relying on that knot, which is probably going to pull through, you can put your needle through the loop made by the knots. Okay, see how I have it through there? Let's see if I can get it to focus. I don't know, but I think you can see even though it's not focusing properly. Um, you pull that through there, and that gives you even more of a hold than just the knot, because the knot is going to pull through. Like, you can't rely on it. It's a jerk. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to do a basic running stitch, which is just a traditional in and out, in and out. Just pop the needle through there. Pop it back out the other side. This doesn't have to be super tight either, because this isn't going to have pressure put on it. Okay, we finally made it, we're at the end. There are many different philosophies on how to tie a thread off. I personally like to go through, but leave a loop on the other side. So, we have our loop that we made, and then this strip thread. We're gonna go through the loop with 
the working thread, okay? Okay, we're gonna tighten the loop down like this, okay? So it's, it's flat. And then we're gonna let all this, this new loop that we just made by going through that loop go up and we're gonna go through it and essentially tie a knot. Okay, we went through that loop and then we're gonna go around through our thread again. And that essentially makes a knot around it. And you're done. Chop that sucker off. Okay, we're gonna take our little bunny ear and we're gonna turn it in, well, right side out now. So now that we've got this um, sock looking thing, um, you're gonna fold it in half at the bottom. If you use these, they're just those little, and you get pretty small ones, you can clip them into your hair like this. If I can press hard enough, okay? With your bunny ear on top of it. So it'll be like this, see? Okay, so hook it into the fabric and then up through that little bitty tiny hole there. Do it a couple times just to make sure it's good and strong. So we've sewed the middle of the ear to the pointy end of the hair clip. And we're gonna sew through the hair clip. Pull the edges down around it. Like so. So we've got the hair clip. We're pulling those front edges down around the hair clip. This makes it look more like your bunny ears are your own and not borrowed. There we go. See, I've got it wrapped around that hair clip. And make sure you like crisscross between the two sides to make sure that your bunny ear stays together because if you don't do that it'll like separate like this. Now I'm going to put a few stitches through the top here where the bunny ears meet just to hold everything together you know right through there. Now I'm going to tie it off. You now have bunny ear. Let's see what we want to position it. Mm, I think like this. And you just open it, scoot it back, and press. And you have a cute bunny ear. Now there's two. And don't they look fabulous? I feel like a member of the rabbit family already. Officially a lagomorph. If you wanted, you could add some blush inside here. Or, um, and then go over it with hairspray or a spray fix. Um, or if you're an artist and you have chalk pastels just laying around, you could put some chalk pastel on there and go over it with spray fix. Um, you could also probably dry brush on paint. I haven't tried that, so I don't know what would happen. I'm so glad we got to hang out together today. If you'd like to hang out together some more, please hit the subscribe button. And if you liked this tutorial and want to see some more tutorials, please hit the like button and let me know. Um, and if you have any comments, uh, suggestions, ideas for videos, Go ahead and leave them down there in that comment box and I will see them. Well, anyways, have a great day and thank you for hanging out. Bye.